Back, a brand new arts festival getting ready to make its way to the Queen City. Charlotte's International Arts Festival now under a month away. The annual celebration from Blumenthal Performing Arts will bring more than 200 attractions to Charlotte over the course of 17 days. So joining us now to discuss everything you should expect, Blumenthal Performing Arts President and CEO Tom Gabbard. Tom, thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning, great to be here. So we know the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center has a lot of different festivals. Tell us about this one and how it's gonna be different. Well, this is brand new in that we are highlighting international, both in what we bring here as well as international and what's right here in Charlotte. It's also unique in that Blumenthal is best known for being uptown, but we are going way out of uptown to Ballantyne and putting a couple of major projects there. I'm very, very excited about that. So talk to me more about that, because when I read that, I thought, how exciting, because um, you have so many people that are fans of the arts that don't all live in uptown, or it's hard to get to uptown sometimes. So talk about the decision to take it to South Charlotte. So they, they are creating Ballantyne's Backyard, which is a very exciting project. So among the things that we're putting out there is from the UK, something called Luminarium. This is an inflatable village and uh, you go inside, the sun pours through the membranes of it, creating these incredible intense colors. That'll be going on during the day. At night, we're bringing these crazy guys from Italy called Eventi Verticali. They will do an aerial act hung from a crane. Oh my goodness, wow. So, but Uptown is, a, is, a, is vibrant as always. We'll be hosting the world premiere of a brand new show called Black Star Symphony, David Bo the music of David Bowie. Oh, nice. Black Star was the last album that David Bowie did and sadly okay. passed away two days later. Mm -hmm. So this is the world premiere of a production that does that entire album and then the second act, uh, a lot of David Bowie's great hits. With all of this going on, talk about why it's so important for people to not only come out, but bring their kids and bring their family. It is, an important thing to know about this is that the majority of events are free and many are outside. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, so there are few obstacles in terms of price, uh, and, and it really is intended to be family friendly, to introduce your kids to the arts, and, and in a way that they've never seen before. A lot of adults yeah. have never seen the kind of things that we're doing. Well, I was just gonna ask you, and you might've just answered it, how people can get tickets, how much it costs, but you said it's free. Uh, most Parts of, of it. Most of the things are free. So uh, we do have a great w website, charlotteartsfest.com. Go, uh, go, go to look at that. You can go, come to the Blumenthal site. You're going to be hearing more and more about this as it launches on September 16. Okay, perfect. Tom, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. We can't wait for this event to take off. So again, um, like Tom said, for more information, the Charlotte Arts Festival takes place September 16th through October 2nd. And um, yeah, we'll have all the information on our website as well, wcnc.com. Tom, thank you. Ben? Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah.